welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Kaya Moore I am going to be doing our first video no heat fro yes I want to accommodate my ladies who do not like to put heat on their curls no blow dryer needed for this one you do want to have your hair stretched out I did create a video on how I stretch my hair out two ways please go check that out to get the stretch look okay so you definitely want to start off with water h2o very important for this style um, I do add a lot more water um, I try not to saturate it just at least get it damped if that makes sense okay and then I am going to be using my go-to favorite products here's the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner I'm packing my hair with products one because we're entering the fall and winter season and you know these colder months can be very drying to our natural hair so I just like to make sure that um, my hair gets the moisture that it needs okay and then I go and use my Cantu flexseed oil I love this oil you guys I fell in love with it a couple of weeks back and I've been using it ever since and then my ultimate favorite the curl stretch pudding by Shea Moisture I love it it's rich it's it's smooth and it just does my hair wonders okay for this particular style I did do smaller sections and I did my two strand twist and then I add a rod at the end Now this is a cool technique. I use a bobby pin to pin my um, twist down. Now the reason I do this is because my twist will get puffies at, at the root. You don't have to use this method if you're not comfortable with using bobby pins on your scalp. But I use the bobby pins to keep my hair stretched too. Um, it's a great method, I love it. Um, that puffiness at my roots definitely lays for me overnight. All these twists parting they're all small and as you can see right here I have the bobby pins all over as well okay now for the rods in the back I did use a different size only because I'm testing out the size of the rods in this video I want to see what kind of curl pattern each rod gives me okay so this is actually was a personal thing that I was doing just to see let's see how big the curls at the ends looked okay So also here, it's just my normal takedown, but look you guys, look at the root. Look at that, nice and flat. That's what I was aiming for, not puffy at all. Nice and um, laid still, and I still have that stretch effect, okay? So you just wanna take this down, make sure you unravel your twist slowly. Now kind of looking now at the ends of my hair, the curls, those color rods and those size rods they matter a lot but i do like the different curl patterns it, it gave me throughout my hair i don't have a consistent curl pattern and i'm all for it so if you guys want to kind of mix your rods around have fun with it by all means go for it because if you look real close every pattern like even in the front, you see the curl pattern is a lot bigger and then there's one back there that's a lot smaller. So I, I just had fun and I'm glad that I did it and I tried it out. 
so you ladies th this is pretty much it i know i talk basically throughout the whole video <laughs> um just going forward just know that's what i would be doing i want to make sure i break down each step and um keep things simple in between when i'm taking my hair down notice i'm picking and fluffing just like in my frizzy fro i love that technique it just saves a lot of time you don't have to go in and pick as much so that's another technique that you can try as well okay Okay, ladies, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys really quick how I style my fro. So this style is super easy, super cute, and it's honestly like my go-to look. <laughs> Anytime my hair gets old or um, I just want to switch up the fro look, I always do like these two little puffs in the front of my head and then I leave the back out. And... Um, I don't know i just really been gravitating towards this style especially because um my hair is not long enough yet for that massive um high puff that i really want so i just been rocking my little mini puffs on the top of my head and i just wanted to show you ladies you know just how i do that and i always get questions on it how i style it what products do i use to get my edges smooth and things like that so here you go so ladies stay tuned there is so much more to come and i will see you on the next one i love you all may your day be blessed bye